hey, let me show you um, the Concord Consortium, which is a the site we're going to use for the next couple weeks to learn about the atomic structure and interactions. So to get there, I'm going to go to the STEM Resource Finder. I'm going to say log in. I'm going to log in with my school Gmail account. I'm going to use a different one right now just so you can see what it looks like as a student. All right. Logging in. Okay, I'm going to say I am a student. I'm going to put in the class word. In, if you're in first hour, it's Earth Space Phys 1. I think each of the rest of them are just 3 or 2, 4, 6. Um, but you'll want to check in your classroom to find out. Okay, I'm going to say register. Okay, so now I can see two different things here. And the first thing I'm going to go to is the interaction pretest. So um, whenever you click on something, it takes you right into the activity. These little bubbles are the pages. So if you need to go back and forth between pages, you can. Um, to go back and forth between activities, you're going to go into this menu part for today. Um, for async time anyway, you're just going to the pretest. Click on that first one and you definitely should watch this drawing tutorial because there's a lot in it. This is kind of a complex drawing uh, system and you're going to be using these drawing tools a lot to make models. So then you can go to page two once you've watched that. Um, you're going to go through each one of these pages and put your answers in. Do your drawings as you need to. You can navigate with the back and next buttons. Be thinking about what you know about magnets to answer these questions. You are going to skip, this is actually a really fun demonstration, you're going to skip questions 9 and 10. You can certainly look at them if you want to. If you want to answer them for fun, I guess that's fine with me. Um, and then after question 13, you can be done. Okay? When you're done, you just close out of the page and I can see how far you got. And if you get that far, then that's all you need to do for async time. So, good job.